What is the role of forgiveness in this Me Too era? Some sexual assault survivors and hashtag users are frustrated by former CBC radio host Gian Gameshi tying himself to their movement in a recent essay. I think my reaction was similar to a, a lot of women and especially a lot of survivors, which was that he, the article was entirely about him. Sexual assault survivor and advocate Kirsten Rayworth is frustrated by the tone Yameshi takes in the New York Review of Books. The nearly 3,500 word essay breaking a four year silence since allegations of assault and misconduct came forward against the broadcaster and musician. In 2016, Yameshi was acquitted of four counts of sexual assault and in a separate court case apologized and signed a peace bond. Pioneer to the Me Too hashtag is to completely discount all of the women who are actually the pioneers. What angered many, like Rayworth, was this essay trying to tie himself to the hashtag Me Too. Giameshi writes, Since then, I've become a hashtag. One of my friends quips, I should get some kind of public recognition as a hashtag Me Too pioneer. So that is that he never once acknowledges the real hashtag that came out as a result of his accusations, which was the been raped, never reported hashtag. Thousands of women and men in Canada posted to that and talked about their experiences and their experiences with the justice system. This summer, Rayworth wrote an opinion piece about forgiveness, sharing the fallout she faced when talking about her own sexual violence experience. And later, when she joined the Me Too movement, tweeting comments made to her by former federal cabinet minister Kent Hare, for which she has received an apology. What we need to start calling for when we talk about accountability around sexual violence is asking people who've committed those acts to understand the impacts of what they've done. Something many on Twitter say they have yet to see with Giameshi. He has a huge platform and a huge opportunity to create change and he's completely neglected it. Graywer says she's watching the federal government now to see if a conservative private member's bill requiring sexual assault training for judges will go through. And here in Alberta, keeping a close eye on the review of the Police Act, hoping more training for officers dealing with sexual assault acts accusations will bring more trust to the system. In Edmonton, Carly Robinson, City News.